Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Meta Business Suite, which can help you manage your Facebook pages, your Instagram accounts, your messages, and all that type of stuff all in one place. Now, the Meta Business Suite is different than the Meta Business Manager, and they kind of go hand in hand because you need to connect everything inside a Business Manager before you can really use it inside of the Business Suite. And I have a whole other video on how to use the Business Manager, so definitely check that out first. So that way you can make sure all your accounts and everything are connected and that'll help you get the most out of the meta business suite. So to get to the meta business suite, you can just come into your ads manager area and you want to go to the all tools area and you should see an option for meta business suite right here. So click onto that and Facebook will want to show you notifications. So if you want to be notified if somebody sends you a message or something like that, you could go ahead and turn this on, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off for the time being. So I'll click on block. And if you change your mind, click the lock to give Chrome permission to send you desktop notifications. So if you change your mind, there you go. So this is the main dashboard right here and a lot of it is pretty self-explanatory. So we can see, you know, my Facebook followers and my Instagram followers right here. And I could go ahead and create a post straight from here. So let's click on this option real quick so I can show it to you. So we can choose where we want to post. So if you connected both your Facebook and your Instagram accounts through the Meta Business Manager, well then you can post to both places at once or individually through the Meta Business Suite. So right here, I could go ahead and post to both locations at once or if I wanted to just post to my Facebook page, I could just select it and then I could go ahead and create my post just like I normally would. So I could add media, I could add text, I could go ahead and schedule it and it would show me a little preview of it right here. And same concept, if I wanted to do my Instagram, I could go ahead and do it just like this and see a little preview over here. And so that's pretty self-explanatory, but it's kind of nice that I don't have to switch between different apps or go to my Facebook page and then post to that page and then log in to Instagram and post on Instagram. I can do it all right here in the Meta Business Suite. Moving over, there's the option to add advertise and I don't really recommend advertising through the meta business suite instead go to the meta ads manager as there's a lot more functions and features over there and I have a whole bunch of videos on advertising with the Facebook or meta ads manager so just check out my channel if you need more information additionally you could create reels or stories or go live and so on now there's a getting familiar with meta business suite so if you want something beyond this video you can check this out you can have a to-do list here's my marketing content my recent ads exploring more ways to grow and what's new in the meta business suite so this is kind of a nice thing to keep an eye on to see if they've added any new features now it doesn't look like they've added any anything in about a year, but maybe they'll add something soon. So anyway, let's come to the menu over here on the left hand side. Up next we have notifications. So this is nice because it'll show you every time somebody follows you or likes your page and stuff like that. And it just gives you an idea of what's going on in your accounts. Moving on, we have inbox. And this is actually very useful, I find, because it lets you manage all your messages in one place. So all your Facebook Messenger messages, all your Instagram DMs, all your comments on Facebook and Instagram are all in one place. So you can come here and quickly and easily reply to people sending you messages or leaving you comments. So I think this feature alone makes the Meta Business Suite well worth learning about, as I know it saved me a ton of time having everything all in one place. And you can see across the top, we have all messages. So Messenger, Instagram, Facebook comments, and Instagram comments as well. So a very nice tool. Coming on over here, we have content. And here's where you can go ahead and create all the content for your Facebook page and Instagram accounts all in one place. Plus there's a whole bunch of analytics information so you can see the reach, engagements, likes, reactions, comments, shares, and so on. So it gives you some more details all in one nice place. And you can see that there's stories here, there's A-B tests, feed and grid, mentions and tags, clips, and you also have collections of Facebook photos and playlists as well. And I'm not gonna go into details on all this stuff because we'd be here for hours. But I'm showing you that these options are available to you and probably worth exploring, especially if you're really active on Facebook or on Instagram. So moving on to the next feature right here, we have the planner. And so this is a place where you can go so you can create, schedule, and manage your content on like a calendar. And using it is quite self-explanatory. If I click on a date, well then it brings me to the create a post section that we already looked at so we can post to you know whichever platform we want to and create the content that we want to and you can see that there's the option to customize posts for instagram and facebook all in one place so we can do the facebook content the instagram content and so on and then you can go ahead and set the date and time that you want to schedule the post to go live and then schedule it so pretty straightforward stuff if you're familiar with posting on facebook or instagram up next, we have ads. And again, I don't really recommend advertising straight from the Meta Business Suite. Instead, use the Meta Ads Manager because it's a lot more powerful with a lot more options. And I can pretty much guarantee you'll get better results doing it that way. So moving on, 
We have insights right here, which can be very useful. So this gives you all the analytics and details of how you're managing your Facebook and Instagram accounts and what is generating the various results. So we can see our reach and our content interactions, our followers, our link clicks, and you can change you know, the date range and we can get a whole bunch of information, our results, our audience, and our potential audience right here. So we can see how large our audience is. That's kind of like our current audience. Now I don't really have a current audience, so to say. I have one Facebook follower and 79 Instagram followers. So my potential audience doesn't really like make sense because Meta can't really understand who my followers are or what they look like. But if you had larger current audiences, then the potential audience would be a lot more viable and give you an idea of how big your market is. But then there's also insights on messaging. It gives you similar metrics to like a CRM, like message Messaging conversation started versus appointments created. So it can give you some metrics and things to shoot for. Same with like benchmarking over here. And you can go ahead and compare yourself to other businesses. So businesses to watch. So you can plug in your competitors here and see how your growth on Facebook or Instagram are doing compared to your competitors. So that way you can see how you're doing compared to them. Maybe you're doing things faster or slower, but at least you know. And then there's insights into your content. So an overview of how your content's performing and you see Facebook posts, stories, Instagram posts, Instagram stories, there's content. So you can see the individual pieces of content like we already saw previously. But if you click on it, there's other details as well. So we'll click on this and you can see like the reach of this particular post and link clicks and all that other type of stuff. So there's just a whole lot of information that's available to you if you click around. And then you can also see the earnings. So if you're able to earn on your Facebook page, well then you can see your video earnings right here. And coming back over here, we have a link to the ads manager again. I recommend using the ads manager overrunning ads through the Meta Business Suite because you're gonna get much better results through the Ads Manager. And then there's all tools here. And a lot of these tools link to other locations within the whole Facebook, Instagram ecosystem. However, some are native to the Meta Business Suite. So for example, Instant Forms. If you create those and you wanna be able to download your leads, this is where you would go to do that. Then there's things like appointments. So if you wanna use Meta as a CRM, you can definitely do that. There's monetization, order, services. If you're running a store through Facebook, then there's business apps and a file manager and like a getting started and settings sections. So there's a bunch of different options available just through the Meta Business Suite as well. And so again, if you haven't already, you definitely wanna go through the Meta Business Manager first and get all your accounts set up and connected together and then head over to the Meta Business Suite and then you can take advantage of all the different functions and features that it offers, especially the consolidated inbox, which I find very useful because I am terrible at checking messages. And if they're all in one place, it makes it a whole lot easier. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Switch the likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyarmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.